<laughs> well, hello, hello, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. We completed the mall, the subway, and the sewers, and we're reaching to a construction site. Let's see how it goes today. Let's see what uh, awaits. Can it get creepier? Of course. It can get a lot creeper. Okay. Can I just jump in? How do I even get there? Oh, there's a door here. Okay. Like everything. Double ammo for this area. Of course, it's broken. Everything that has been happening has not been in Silent Hill. Hold on. Here we go with the creepy soundtrack already. The electricity is off. The elevator won't work. Well, I hope this is open. There are going to be new enemies here. New threats. Okay. Why are we here? We're just trying to get home. This reminds me of Silent Hill 2. Oh, uh, Pyramid Head is not here. Okay, second floor doesn't work. Third floor. Uh, warning. The third level ceiling has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Won't open at all. Let's crumble. A toolbox, nothing useful inside at all. Alrighty, man, alrighty, the atmosphere. The fourth level floor has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Everything has crumbled. Nice construction, guys. Step ladder, it's too big and bulky to take it with me. I mean, already. We're going so high. Fifth floor. This is the end. This is the end. Ooh. Ooh. I need to take a peek, guys. I thought this build. That's from the game, right? <laughs> because my dad sometimes walk on the top floor and it makes similar sounds, but no, I think that's the game. I thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like this has been used. So someone took a poop here. This is what, that's what you're saying, Heather? Someone took a dump? It's a plain old uh, wash basin. Nothing special about it. Okay. Those sounds are so realistic. There, there has been what, a few of those, I guess you can call them 3D sounds, where they are very, like, around you, and they sound... So realistic, like the knocking door thingy. Oh, I can see the ceiling crumble there. Someone was sleeping here. There's a mattress. Handgun. Get some homeless person or something. Ugh, a filthy mattress. Would you ever drop into the hole? Not yet. But I'm guessing eventually I will. Let me get this drink. Anything else over here? I think we just had to jump. 
I can see the fourth level floor. It's too dangerous to jump down from here. So, okay, so we throw the mattress first and then we jump. Smart Heather, smart. Okay. Jeet. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of a jump tune, you know? I still have a map for this. Check this door, I guess. Can I even access the rest of the building? Nope. So there's like a hole in the wall here. Ooh. Don't fall. Oh! Um. Um. How many bullets do I have for a shotgun? 27. Fuck it. I missed. Bro! I'm not sure if you can hit those guys. What do I do? Oh, you can't hit them. Ah, oh, but they're hitting me. I'm gonna die, man! Already! Oh, no. I'm body blocked. I'm body blocked. Let me move! Fucking little shit. MOVE! Bro! I'm stuck here. I don't know what to do. The fact that enemies have collision. Yeah, that's what I want to have. Oh, I'm not sure I come this way. Holy shit, man. Three heals and so many shotgun shells wasted there. Whatever. We're alive, we didn't die. Table to score with papers. I don't see any info that might come in handy, though. Want some tea, guys? Tea time. It's a thermal ca cafe. There is nothing inside. Aww. Okay. Hmm, what is this building? Lock is broken. Broken. Oh, what does it say? Storefront or something? Storefront possibles. Possibles? To pose, I guess. Storage room one. If I investigate all these and then I get the map, does she mark immediately everything that I have checked so far? I think she does, right? Storeroom 3. Storeroom 2 is open. Oh, not the mannequins. Not the mannequins, man. These are so creepy. Ugh. It's pipe time. This one looks very sus. It's the only mannequin with a head. There's something weird about the headless ones. Like, they can still see me or something. I see K? What is I see K? Ick. Like, ick, right? Its head is the only not worthy thing about it. It's just a mannequin. I swear if they move or something weird. Keep an eye on headers. What was that? Oh! 
This this is blood. Um Okay. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. They just try to mess with it. Let's go this way. Let's see what monsters we have here. It's long arms. Oh, it's Douglas. Let's put some of these here. I have nine. Let's put more. Let's put more. They're hungry. The dogs are hungry. Monica's dance studio. Monica Dance Studio. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boys, calm down. Oh, no. Is there anything here? Oh. Run, Heather. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm out. Fuck this shit. Is there anything there? Hello? Some kind of poster. It looks like there will be a performance soon. Yeah, the one I just did. Talking and everything. There's a lot of papers, but not that important to me. Okay, this seems more chill. Oh, we can save here. Please, a map. Oh, baby. Hilltop Center. Office building map. Nice. So now is everything. Yeah, okay. So everything we have explored, she puts it there so far. Monica Dance Studio. Okay. Uh, anything else here? Oh, a drawer. Um, this is a rope. I have a rope here. The drawer is open just a smidge. It must be a rash or something. I can't pull it out any further. Come on, you have a knife, you have a steel pipe, you have a, you have a fucking mole. You sure you cannot do anything? Put it there. It's all clutter up, doesn't look there's anything interesting. Okay, we're doing well so far. Kind of. This monster outside kind of wrecked me though. Uh, anything else over here? She's not looking at anything, so it's important to look at what Heather is looking. Locker room? Locker room. There's a node on the locker room. I'll open the locker door. I got a map of the building from Mr. Harris. Come to the office to get it. I already got the map. Ooh, health. Very good. There are photos hung here. Maybe the locker owner's love. Hmm. What? Magazines, nothing really important. Okay. Oh, I thought you said the door was locked, and I was like, well, how am I gonna get out now? Drawer. So I need something to open the drawer. Let's keep going this way. Dogs. I'm gonna check this. Prindle and Enos Law Firm. Okay, you know what? Fuck this shit, man. Fuck this shit. Two kicks for safety. Yeah. It's coming. I think it's like me already. But hopefully we can do this. Oh, that was where the plates were. I can see camera. Oh. oh, I think he missed. Oh, it went down already. Oh, he gets up. Come over here. 
Oh man, takes so long to wind up. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Melee combat is so nerfed in this game, which is reasonable. In the first game, you could do the whole game melee. Okay, I'm going with the shotgun. I have a lot of ammo for it. Yeah, let's see. We cannot check that door. We haven't explored anything here. Elevator. Wait, what? The elevator doors open a little. Use the button, the elevator won't count. Is it broken or something? Oh. So the, the elevator is open a little. Oh, there's a locker there I didn't check. Third floor. Let's go down first. Oh, wait, what is that? It's looking like a keypad or something. First floor. Okay. Plenty of stuff behind the stairs, nothing important. Okay, so first and second floor are blocked. Good to know. X, unless we access the elevator somehow. Let's go up. Fourth floor. It's broken. Did I leave anything behind in the third floor? Not really. Oh, this is open though. Why? Oh, I was like, why is my hair red? So the light. They're cleaning goods here. There's much I can do with them. Cover is empty. Nothing. You're just marking it, marking it on the map, basically. Even, even if I know it's not gonna work, you know? Auto parts. Let's check this door. It's locked. So that means we can unlock it. Key MN Auto Parts. All right, let's keep that na name in mind. What is this thing? Gallery of Fine Arts. Should I go to the gallery? Here is the Gallery of Fine Arts office. And this is more parts. This looks like the enemies will get killed with a melee weapon, right? Let's show them something. This one is a bit risky, right? These are like medium size. Oh, he's rushing at me. Yeah, these are like grown up. Grows up. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, he went back. Okay. Double kick. Yeah, this is not worth it. We're running out of heals. They rush at you. I need to run. Nice. Ah, that was too slow. Get him! Yeah, try to save some ammo. Man, this music is so fucking. All oh, this open too. Uh Sir, stay down. Stay down, sir. Oh, he can kick you while you kick him. In the balls. Kick him in the balls. I'm not going to stop kicking you until you stop moving. Sir! I think 
is that? Is that VHS there or something? Nothing here? Are you telling me? This is a waste? How many bullets do you have? 25, 80. Okay, we have a lot of pistol bullets. There is nothing here in this room. Just this guy. Okay, whatever. Okay. So that door was locked. There's three more rooms here. This is open. An office. Just a bunch of serious looking papers on this desk. I don't need to take any with me. Oh, is that noise? A jack. Oh, we can use this on the elevator for sure. To open it, right? We haven't called our dad anymore. We haven't done anything. Is there anything else in this room? I don't want to leave and then missing something important like it happens last time. But it doesn't seem to be anything else. So we got that item. It's an open box here. Nope. Let's go. Oil there too. Let's check these two doors. Broken and broke. So everything here is broken. So we're gonna go back to the elevator, I'm guessing. <clears throat> There's a couple of doors here, I haven't checked. Oh, the gallery. Hello. There is a guest registration notebook on the reception desk. I think I can ignore it for now. No, write your name down. A painted plate here. It's nothing special. Uh, is the title Repressor of Memories? What the hell kind of title is that? I don't get this picture at all. That's, that's modern art for you, Heather. Look, it's broken. This is open. I want to go back. Looks like there was a picture here before. Only the captions still around. Flame purifies all. Flame, huh? Well, I don't know what kind of picture used to be here, but I'm not too fond of fire. It's scary somehow. Price written here. Let's see. 5,000? Man, what a war. <laughs> I love Heather's commentaries. Now, this is a calm, relaxing picture. Mountain. Nice and simple. Looks like one of those Japanese calendar pictures. Okay. Need to keep it in my Oh, screwdriver. What is that for? Screwdriver. This camera, man. Oh, it's open. Bunch of paintings. A katana? Holy. I need a crowbar to open this crate. I'll just forget about this. A crowbar? Can you not open it with a katana though? This is a short katana about two feet long. Pretty powerful and easy to handle. Bro, does it break? It's very short. It doesn't have range. Look, it's broken. Okay. So let's go to. Oh, this is a floor number six. Oh, the drawer. Maybe we can use the, the screwdriver on the drawer. Third floor. Let's go to the third floor. Fire purifies all. Maybe we need to burn the wall or something. Did we check this office? 
Oh, we haven't checked this door. Okay. Let's go back. Where was the staircase? Oh, we can unlock this. It's locked. Oh, we have to... Wait, what? It was... It's locked from both sides? I guess. So, which was the door to go back to the staircase? I think it's... This one. Okay. Let's try to go up. Before we go back to the third floor. Okay, so only three and five are open. <clears throat> if I find a crowbar, I could open the, the box that we found next to the paintings. A crowbar. And then we're going to check the drawer and the elevator. Let's see. The Monica, this is where the enemies were, right? Yeah, okay. So I don't want to go in there. Let's check this. I'm not sure if this works, though. It's current, oh, it's a little ordinary. Oh, it does work. Nice. What's in here? A rope. Oh, maybe I need this for the elevator, in, in fact. We can save again. <sighs> okay. So... Are we done here? No, I guess we're gonna go to... To one of the floors we haven't explored yet. Where was the elevator? This one. Raise the car when you need change or tire or something. Yeah. Or when you need to open an elevator too. And now we use the rope. It looks sturdy and well used. Oh, that's good. That looks at the second floor. Oh my god, this elevator. I use the rope. We'll use the rope to go downstairs. Yes. Okay. We are on the second floor. So we can unlock this from this side. Nope. I don't need to save there. Do I? Clueless. The elevator here is not working either. <clears throat> there is bathrooms, echo, uh, echo. Is that different companies on each floor? Echo interior and floor fashions. Okay. Is open. I have a katana. Motherfuckers. I love this room and this camera. This is, is this the reception area? There are catalogs scattered here, uh, scattered around. Anything important around here? Is she looking at something? Who wants some? It looks real enough to buy it. Well, I want to find out. Um, let me see. Doesn't really matter where you go. Lamp hoods and flowers, basses. I don't need either. Underneath the covers are more display items. Not have to be worried about this. What's what else is under under that? What the hell? This is like IKEA version. Silent Hill IKEA version. Bathtub display. There's a dark red stain on the bottom. Good. Guys, I don't mind if you pee at the shower, but pooping at the shower? Come on now. 
is for display. Come on now, guys. Who's doing that shit? Uh, it's a cracked floor base. It's supposed to be for sale too. It's been repaired. Oh, we unlock this. Okay. Hmm. Like I'm digging too deep here. Another bathtub. <laughs> Just for display, I think. I can't do anything with it. I mean, oh, I knew it. It's not connected to the. What? Oh no. Oh no. Whoa. It's getting more intense. Did I die or something? No way, right? The bat the killer bathtub. Serial killer bathtub. Being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Who was that talking? Well, it seems like we are on the other world now. Oh no, not again. Oh shit. Here we go again. Did she do this too? It's just referring to Claudia. What? I have no words. I have no words. Why? Like, why? Like, why? Like, why? I don't want any bullshit here. Fuck it. Oh man. Oh my fucking god, what the So fucking trippy. Oh my god. They knock you down, are you kidding me? Even when you kick them, they can't get up if they are healthy enough. Holy shit. Let's see the map. Okay, every, all, everything is different. Am I healthy? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's withering away. Poor thing. I guess we can save. Holy nightmare, man. If the normal game is scary enough, I'm like on the edge. When it turns to this, it's like complete losing it. I don't like that everything is open, if I'm honest. Oh. Who are you? what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. Yeah. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? He knows. Please don't lump me together with her. 
She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. What? My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side. So Harry's Heather, dad. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that. Sorry, I apologize. I'm right. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Fucking ditchbag. I feel like I'm going crazy. Does this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. She want me to Wait, trust you? I'm not finished talking. I knew you were on her side. Yeah. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. <laughs> I find this place fascinating. What about that, Vincent? Does that give away Oxidol? Holy. I'm done with the shelf. I think I found enough. Uh, there's a junior high school chemistry book here. And when you pour the diluted oxygen peroxide into manganese dioxide, oxygen is produced. Although oxygen will not burn on its own, it will help other things to burn. Okay, chemistry. So we're finding more. So Heather is Harry Mason, daughter. So that baby that he got at the end of the game, of the first game, that's us. And it's crazy. This is unlocked. So what happens if I try to go back to Vincent? I don't think I will go in this room. That weird guy's in there. True. So we need to find some chemicals to mix, I'm guessing. Uh, use this to disinfect cuts and stuff. It forms when you put it on. Forms. Okay. Okay, let's keep exploring. This guy's fucking crazy, man. Dogs. Good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh. I think he's done with the meat. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Oh, the elevator works. I want to finish exploring, exploring that... Uh, that floor, though. I don't think we can anymore. <laughs> can we? Can we open the doors? Ooh, it has so many floors, man. They both missed. Okay. Let's get out of here. I don't think I ever have to go back there. There was no items or anything, right? Sure, though. I'll start uh, bottom to top. Floor number one. Oh man. Oh man. Wow. 
what the fuck is that thing? Holy shit. This music. Big boy. Register broken. There's money scattered all over. The register and the cash are in of much use to me right now. True. This guy has shotgun ammo. Get it. Run head! Oh my, I think I need to heal. I got, I couldn't even read the dialogue there, but I got the uh, pork liver. This was in the cafe's fridge. You gotta do something with it before it goes bad. Combine it with that, I don't know. Let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything else here. Goodbye. Man, I need to relax. Pork lever, it's locked. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the third floor. I was on the second floor, right? Yeah. That doesn't work. Four? Okay. So one, two, three. I wanna take the pistol. Bro, everything is getting worse and worse. Everything is locked. Can I unlock something? I don't have a key or anything, right? What do you say? Okay, uh, let's go floor number five. If I find a key or something, at least we know there's a lot of locked doors. Okay. I was hoping that we could not go to fourth number floor. Five, but it works. No enemies, that's good. Just discard in it. You never know, you know? You cannot discard anything unless you check it manually, because what if that elevator takes you to a different floor or something? It's Silent Hill after all. Like the other world. Oh my god. Fucking knew it. That's why I kept shooting. How many do I have? Five and seven. I'd rather be at full health. There's one more though. They run at you so fast. Oh wait, did I come from here? Wait, what am I? What? 
Yeah, I came from here. I just wanted to check that door. Look at that fucking wheelchair. So creepy. Last bullet. Fucking hell. Are those matches? Matchbook. No more cigarette rights for me. I quit for good. Heather, used to smoke. Wow. Too young for that. Someone was smoking here recently, though. Or maybe it's just the other world messing with us. Look at this freaking room. So creepy. Feels so exposed there. Cool game, not cool. Where do I go though? Okay, I never check at the end here. There's a big sheet of glass in the way. It doesn't break when I hit it, so maybe it's not glass after all. I don't know why, but the world on the other side is calling me. Check this other door too before I go. Okay. This is uh yeah, this looks like the gallery R thingy, right? Where the stand thing was there. Yeah, here's the reception. I can sit here. Gallery. Mental clinic? I was on a mental clinic before? Apparently. Oh, the painting is there now. That looks like uh, Alyssa in the first game, huh? And all the people around. When should they burn her, maybe? Picture here was gone. Everything is like reversed. Camera, please. So I need to burn this, right? Capture another picture. Flame purifies all. But this reminds me of a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No, wait, I never seen it, but I do know it somehow. So can I just burn it? What what is this for then? Or maybe I have to combine it with this, but that's gonna explode, isn't it? This picture the picture were uh weren't burn. Wait, what did she say? Sure, but a match goes out too quickly. Isn't there a way to make the flames go stronger? Uh, buy this? What am I supposed to do with this? Ah. Oh, that works? No way. The lever with the oxidal and the... And the match. I was about to go to look for a magazine or some piece of paper to burn. Or right, apparently that works. Planes to purify all. Um. Oh, we can go through there. It's like a hatch. Oh, Jew again, what the fuck? Is 
It's like ears and a mouth. It's... Don't think about it, man. Where are these papers? Huh? The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates, but when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to the word the priestess said. But she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know? The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Wow. No beginning and no ending. I really didn't understand that story. It's probably just some pages torn out uh, of, from the middle of a book. So we need to find the rest of the book then. Monster eating a priest. Thirst! Interesting. Let's see. Fuck it. Fuck it. You know what? You are asking for it. I don't want to do it. Did she miss? Kick it. Kick it. Kick it! I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh my fucking god, man. Too much. You're all dead, right? I hope so. Is there more? What does it sound on the ceiling? Or oh, maybe they're above me. Maybe those are the ones we saw above. Yeah, this place is... Oh, wait, this is unlocked? Oh, this is the first elevator we took, right? I think? I'm not sure. What if the katana works well against these guys? Let's see. Oh, this is open, though. This music. Calm down, game. Or say there and a med kit. This place looks a bit too sus. <laughs> Under the bed. Are you fucking kidding me right now? These enemies are so annoying. <sighs> he was under the bed, man. Not a fan of this area. Bro! Fuck you, man. They're so annoying when they knock you down. And they play dead. They bait you to kick them. Oh, you can't. Oh, it's open too. Hmm. There's more than one, they're dangerous.
What is that noise? It takes so much ammo. I almost like clip for her enemy. 70 bullets. They're unlocked. So those two are unlocked. But why? We're chill for a moment. Are we good? No enemies, please. What is this? Silver coin. A lamp shining on some old silver coins I know I have seen before. I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really take any more. I mean, I'm not a thief. I might act like one now and then, though. <laughs> a silver coin. It's about the size of a quarter. I get the feeling it's really old. Not really sure what that's for. This is what Vincent was because there's writing on the wall, and I think when we were talking to Vincent, there was some there was some writing on the wall too. This is some kind of riddle. Just a plain old vending machine. This one is selling canned drinks. Came to think of, I'm kind of thirsty. I'll feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. There's something written on the wall. Thus, one's life turns to riches. What was the bag of silver coins in now the number of in a book? Jet fate had hath no price. Ah, but do people know this? Should I use a silver coin here? Ah, let's see. I never tried sixth floor. We can go back to the elevator. There was no other puzzle elements, right? On the way. Is a bunch of locked doors. Okay, before I use that, should I use it? Oh, whatever, let's do it. Sounds like it has a key inside or something. I wanted that drink, man. I'm thirsty. Uh, life insurance key. That's good. I need that life insurance too. So the what? No, uh, I'm gonna run, bro. Fuck you, man. I think I'm just gonna go to the elevator and check the locked door on the first floor. That one on the left. Go. Elevator. I don't remember... If the door had uh, something with the key, resembling the key. Let me check the key. The key is like a description. This is where the creepy monster is. Alberton Life Insurance. Looks real enough. Where was that thing? This one. Oh, it works here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is this? Bro, that's so annoying.
sounds so gross. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Cookie monster. They're actually easy. Is the end of that crappy fairy tale I found. Okay. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granting their wishes healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task. But it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me. The monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ego eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Tu fui ego eris. Thus, the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone vanished and lavished their gratitude upon the priestess and they all live happily ever after. So we just need to cast a spell. Tu fui ego eris. Fusroda! Weird writing. <gasps> oh, I just pronounced the words. Does that mean I vanish the monster now? Bro. Let's get out. Is the monster gone now? I made that sound. Oh, it is gone. Got him. Where the hell are we? Slight. What is that? The hold of center? Cafe. My apartment is the other way. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're on the streets now. But everything is dark. This is so weird. It keep, it gives some kind of like these these like liminal spaces. You know what what I'm talking about, guys? This weird vibe. I don't have anything else to do in this building. I had to get home. Fair enough. Police, help me! I don't steal anything, you know. Uh, should I go through here? The creepy hallway. Take a breather. Everyone breathe. Everyone relax. We're fine. Kind of curious to find if there's anything in this street. Or anything seems to be sealed off. I mean, better than invisible walls. Believable limits. I don't even know where I leave or the street I have to go in. 
Daisy Village apartment. Is that is that is that where I live? What is this here? Okay, let's go. Yep. I don't think you need to do that. I don't think you need that gun when you are in your own apartment, right? <laughs> let's just go like this. But again, I'm not sure. 102. What was the what was our apartment? Uh house key. 102. So it's this one. I arrive home. I'm home. That's not my place. What do you mean it's not your place? 102, right? Is this not my apartment? Not my place. Heather, you're gonna get in a wrong house. <laughs> this is their stairway. I don't need that. My apartment is number 102 on the ground floor. I know, I just found it and you said that was not your apartment. What do you mean? What's this doing here? It's like having someone spit on your sacred place. Looking at that makes my head hurt. What does it mean? Hmm. Didn't that door say 102? Or am, I, am I just tripping? But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Okay. Mailbox is empty. Maybe I look at the wrong number. Oh, this is 102. Let me check. Is there anything here? Oop, ah. Dad, I'm back. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should. Dad. Dad? Harry! No! <gasps> they kill Harry. Or should we call her Cheryl? I don't know. Because Harry's daughter was Cheryl, but the new baby has the same name? I don't know. Hello, favorite customer. Welcome. There's blood going to the floor or this to the roof. Who did this? Did you do this? Claudia. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! another reason to fill your heart with hatred mm. it must be this way one day you'll understand. they are manipulating Heather no I'll never understand you must try to remember me and your true self as well you will birth a god and build an eternal paradise god is dead and Harry killed it. 
and I will kill it again if I have to. <laughs> He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. Uh oh. So, uh -oh. what will you do? I'll kill you. You give the order. You're responsible. I'll be waiting where all begins. Shoot Sklaly. Game ends. In the town of Silent Hill. In the town of Silent Hill. Well, boss fight incoming. Right, this guy is tricky. I think he, if you shoot him from the front, he doesn't take damage. So you have to like put him on the back or something. Ooh, that hurts. Do I have time to switch to melee and hit it once with this? What? Careful, 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 careful! Oh, he's fast. I didn't remember he gets knocked down. Let's do another one. I didn't play Silent Hill 2 for a customer. I only did one and two, one and three because they are related. I already played two last year, so I went to replay. Ooh, nice try, man. Get up. Get up, you son of a bitch. You killed my father, motherfucker? Oh, what the fuck? Ouch. Oh, that hurts. Now I'm gonna kill you. Oh, it's getting faster. It's getting faster. Bouncy makes. Oh! oh. He's bad. He's getting faster now. Be careful. What? Switch to the pistol, maybe. He's faster than the shotgun. Need to be careful. Man! Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Do I use one of these? Fuck it. No, I use both! No! Nah, I have a lot of stamina. I had two Red Bulls. I'm so fast. I'm so fast. <laughs> okay, come here, boy. You goofy ass monster. Oh, he's gonna get up and hit me like that. So maybe I do this from the distance, kind of. There you go. Are you? This guy's tanky, huh? This guy's tanky as fuck. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Fuck you, bitch! That's what you get for killing my father. Douglas is here. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. So, just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Make you feel better? I will. I love Heather's dialogues and uh, voice lines and voice acting too. Rest in peace, Harry Mason. 
What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> you can tell by how Heather refers to Harry that he's a lovely father. I'm sorry, Dad. Yeah. What do you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. Oh! What's in Silent Hill? The answer. I don't know. Or what's happening? Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. <laughs> She's aware. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. Now this is how you do a revenge I'll story. Her. I'll kill her myself. Ooh. She's getting filled up hatred though, like Clyde wanted. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How did you get there? None of your business. Huber? You I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by and we'll finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's going to cry over my grave. Oh, damn. This is a very sad moment. Especially after having played Silent Hill, Silent Hill 1 last week. Seeing Harry like this. Oh, man. I'll find a woman and make her pay. I promise I will. I wonder if my dad will be mad at me for thinking that way. Yeah, because Harry tried to pro protect the uh, Heather this whole time from her past and from Silent Hill, right? But they found her and they found him. Goodbye, Dad. Why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. Wow. This is my room. Looks like it. I don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. I'm exhausted, but I don't think I can sleep now. Besides, Douglas will be waiting for me outside. Morning always comes. It's corny, but it's true. But if your eyes are closed, it always feels like night. That's the hero's line from this movie. I always liked that line, but now it just seems stupid. <laughs> Stun gun. This is my dresser. I don't need to change. I'll leave it alone. Need to clean that blood. Okay, we got a stun gun. High voltage to set bad guys. Very short range. Okay, but it must be very strong then. When I get a sandwich before leaving, Heather. There's nothing to do in the kitchen. I'm not hungry at all. Who could eat something in that situation like this? I mean. 
Alright, let's go. Can't reach anybody, not the police or the church. Let's go. I believe in the next scene, when we are on the car with uh, Douglas, going to Silent Hill, there is going to be a, a song on, this, on the background, which is my favorite song in the game. Okay, let's go. Wait, well, say it was on the back, so he's not here. The back door was... This one, right? Some guy named Vincent. Vincent was here? Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. Leonard? He gave me this map. Okay. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Notebook. Your father was holding it. To my dear daughter. We're going to Silent Hill, guys. Holy. And it was 17 years ago, like Claudia said. I'm awake. You cold? What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Hmm. Never did find him. Him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work. You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car's sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Things terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She's remembering. How does she know that? Or her told her? I don't think so. She offered up her very own daughter. It's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. In the end, that god 
was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. Hell yes. Because it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. Hmm. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. Olga is like, what is happening? What, am... what is the story? He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. Aww. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. Do the best, Heather. It was so sudden. Or should I say, Cheryl? I never had a chance to tell you. To tell you how happy you made me. Oh, man. It's a moment like this which elevate the, get the game to like masterpiece. The camera angles, the transitions, the music in the background, the passion, the voice acting, the connection between both games is everything put together. It's great. Whew. I'm going to head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Nah. <laughs> Got the map, right? Yeah. So we are in Silent Hill. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <laughs> I love how she's cocky a little. You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. I've never seen nothing like this. <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. <laughs> Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Hey. Roger. And she's so believable. I think that's the thing, like the most about her like her reactions are so human and natural it's like they feel like a real human being will react in this situation and i love that uh, this gotta be a coincidence but still that's pretty weird who could have done this okay two hours and 30 minutes we have arrived to silent hill That's the bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. So are these the apartments where Kaufman was? I don't remember. This part of the game is really blurry in my mind. 106. I have a map. So we are um, there. We're going to Brookhaven Hospital. So we are on the north side. Here we are. OK. 
I don't open anything. I didn't even check the doors. I guess we just have to go straight there. I don't have a flashlight. This is only for the night. I will try to check any doors. Yeah, this looks like that place where the monkey men were and Kaufman was too. Let's see. Oh, the streets are very weird. I could go back and already tired, Heather. But the fog is so intense, I can see anything. And in. Let's go. I wonder how long it's gonna take for the monsters to be around. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Just give me a break, man. Electric industry. What enemies do we have? Where's the dogs? Did I bring the... Did I bring the beef? I did. <laughs> That one is eating. It's gonna bite me. Maybe we are not far away, so it doesn't chase us anymore. This white van looks like the one at the beginning of the game, kind of. Texan gas. Let's keep hugging the left. To we'll see the turn. Oh man. That sounds like one of the flying ones. A caravan. Also try to look for resources. If I find heals or ammo, that'll be great. Let me check this very quick. Gas station over here. Never mind. <laughs> Going too far already. Bro, the fog is so intense you can't see anything. I want to check this. Carol Street. Do I want to? Heaven's Night. Oh, it is open. I'm going to pop. Ooh, look at this. Beef jerky and a first aid kit. Let's go. That's worth it. And have a beer. She's looking at something. It's a tourism pamphlet. I have forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We are happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of haunting old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows the different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Roger Whitmerk. Yeah, my memories will last forever. That's nightmares, though. Shut the ammo. Hello, hello, Polino, welcome. We just arrived to Silent Hill. After going through some creepy places. 
A flyer from our client shows a woman with long black hair. Return of Lady Maria. Keats looks broken. Yeah, so this is like a cabaret or something. Strip club. Heaven Knight. I think we're done here though. We found we found good stuff. Worth it. Am I doing good on health? Yes. What is that item? Oh, a stun gun battery. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going for the hospital. What the fuck? Nope. Nope, thank you. Am I missing anything on this side? I hope not. I think we have a ride, boys. <laughs> Let me check. Is there anything a bit farther? But I guess they changed the, the town, right? I mean, it's been 17 years. But does it does anyone even live here anymore? This is not the same hospital we came with Hyrule, right? I'm not sure. What, 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 why did they make that noise? Why do they scream like humans? I have one behind me. Ooh, 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 ooh. They have weapons. Enemy have, have weapons now. What the fuck? Oh, that's five versus five. Who has the biggest dick? Looks like I do. Holy pipe duel. Hell yeah. I don't have a muff for this area. So the eggs. Oh, these open. All right, time to explore the hospital. Oh, where are my boys? Thank you, game, for being so generous. Brookhaven Hospital. Okay. This this looks like a oh some healies. A bunch of different types of medicine, but none of these is useful. Except for the ones that took already. Oh. Yeah. It's hospital time. I remember this place was very scary and confusing. Nothing else. <laughs> Lock is broken. Okay. Time to be methodical when exploring. Okay, this is open. Wait, this doesn't disconnect with the room I just saw before. Ah, let me see. Oh, this is confusing. Oh, never mind. The document room is the one I could not see. Is there anything in this room? She's looking at something there. There's nothing of interest on the desk. She's looking at something at this paper. It's a medical record or something. It's for this Leonard guy. Oh, could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Suspect mild schizophrenia. Will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. 
Room S07. Usually passive and courtly. Also egotistical. Sometimes shows an axe on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused a violent incident. Use caution. Okay, so S12 and S7. We need to be careful there. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Where are those rooms? Not here. Second floor? Second floor are M. So third floor, third floor will have the S. S1 to S14. Okay. Oh, it's broken. I love the line in this game too. Oh, shit. Okay. I, I, I didn't check this room. Yeah. Cafeteria and kitchen. Oh, well, I'm gonna go that way. There is an elevator here. It's gonna work. It does work. But first, I want to explore this this first floor. So I don't, don't want to go anywhere yet. I just wanted to see if it works or not. Uh, luckily for us, I mean we have a we have a basement basement floor. So we have four floors in total. It's locked. Locked. Oh, this one is open. Another book. And a doll. What? There must have been kids here too then. I played with dolls like this when I was a child too. It really takes me back. <clears throat> this day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you are the one I have been waiting for. And I haven't you have haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. What the fuck? I want to give you my prize doll. I made it to I made it to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Oh, this is the patient they said uh disgusting. I won't touch that with a ten foot pole. <laughs> yeah. That's the guy that the document said he has like an obsession, right? So he's obsessed with someone called Heather. I just came to visit him. Is that us? It's locked. Action figures. Do you, do you guys have action mans? <laughs> I did have action mans. Okay. I want to use this. Bro. Oh, I didn't want to leave. Oh no. I wanted to kick her. I'm low on health. How many heals do I have? Five? We are in trouble, guys. Five heals. She dead? I don't think she's dead, though. Okay, sure. Okay, let's try this. Oh, one shot. The way they move. Oh, she's getting up. She's getting up. Katana, save me. Katana down. Okay. It's the atmosphere. one it's 
C2. Uh, there's an ample there. Is that worth it? Three nurses. They do a lot of damage, by the way. They do a lot of damage. I'm sorry, girls. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to fucking blast you down with my chat gun. Come here. Next. Next. Oof. Now I'm gonna use... Oh, I need to heal. Now I'm gonna use my fucking mole. Boom. Boom. Oh, I missed. Why are you aiming at, Heather? Come on, man. Get down. Get down! Bro, she's tank as fuck! <laughs> what? What? This bitch tank three mole hits. What? That's it? That was the whole purpose of this room? Oh, that was not worth it. Shit. Tension to the maximum here, man. This reminds me of the hospital in... Oh my god, this guy again. On the hospital in Silent Hill 2, where you were... Wait, maybe it's the same one, actually. Where you made the the little girl? I forgot her name. Disgusting. Okay. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That will be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there is no reason for it to exit, exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley. A lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably... Uh, uh, whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? Is there anything useful? Oh, there's a key there. So I need to unstick it. There's a key glued to the wall. I would love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even put it off. Okay, so we need some, like, dissolvent or something. On C4. Good to know. Ah, so we have to take the elevator. Everything else here is locked, am I right? Correct. Oh, let's take the elevator. <laughs> As always, I'm gonna go button to top. So, basement time. It's basement time. Not a fan of basements. It's not working. So let's go to the second floor. Thank you, game. Another note from Stanley. This guy is fucking crazy. It's locked. Numpad. Puzzle time. It's a puzzle time. 
there is a note here. There is a tip type written memo post here. What is this supposed to be? The first is larger than the second. The second twice is the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Okay, okay. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not on the top row. Two are not in the right now, in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Okay. Before I do this riddle, I will explore the rest. Um, at least we're we're knowing more with Stanley. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense that you sense them unconsciously, bro. This is how real psychotic people think when they're obsessed, when they're object of obsession, I guess you can call them. And so you are trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor. I have forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it post. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers will have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Are, are you irritated? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you are so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley. Fucking pig! I mean, I'm sure he's sick or he has any disease or something. Fashion magazines. Locker. Close locker. What is that? A nail polish remover. Is this for the glue? What is she looking at? Perfume. What? Ooh, the dad notes book. Let's check it. Dad wrote about my past thing here. As always, this should be novelized. Okay, time to read the last words from Harry Mason to my dear daughter. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away, far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died. And another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Return to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby. In that girl of mine of ours. Very important. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into, a sac into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone. Dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. 
the girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now, 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday. And again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was truly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she when you look at me, you laugh. So even now I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I had no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Wow. That's a touching story. Wow. Well, there you go. First game summarized right there. So I came through here. Everything is locked. What is the perfume for? So we also got this. Uh, combined. Though. Smell a little strange. I can't equip this. Is this good or bad? Do, do they, do, does this influence if the enemies smell you or like a repellent? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go... To the last floor. We still have that puzzle to solve, but I'll dedicate my mental power after I've explored everything. Well, never mind. We cannot go anywhere else, so we have to open that. I mean, I could go get the key from the glue thingy, but I would rather do this puzzle now. Ah, so. It's time for my notebook. The second number is twice the third. The fourth is half the first. So if the first is six or eight, that means that the fourth is three or four. Correct? We're from the first line to the second line. And now the second is twice the third. We don't know anything about the third, but we know the third is smaller than the fourth. So if it's smaller than the fourth, he has to be one, two, three, or four. No, one, two, or three. Okay. And the second is twice the third. So that means it can be, it cannot be two because we already have, are using one number from the top row. So that means he has to be four or six okay but the first is larger than the second so the first cannot be six and the second six too but there has to be a nine there has to be a nine somewhere where do we put the nine where do we put the nine Hmm? I don't get it. <laughs> Quick math. Let's see this again. Can I repeat any numbers? Three are not on the top row, so we can only use only one number can be one, two, or three. And two numbers have to be three or six or nine. I don't know where the nine goes. That's that's the thing that's getting me the most because first number cannot be nine because the fourth is half. 
So you cannot do half of that nine, right? So the first number is an eight, I'm pretty sure. That means the last number is a four. Twice is the third. And the second, nothing multiplied by two is nine. So the second cannot be nine either. Correct. Hmm. How did you get a nine then? One of the numbers is the final key. Wait, maybe because the note said there is more than four numbers. Can the code be? Wait, let me type. Let me let me put that. Let me put that a random code. How many how many numbers you have to put in? One, two, three, four. It's unlocked. What the fuck? One of the numbers is the final key. What does that mean? I have the correct I have the correct uh, code, but I was thinking that lit that last line meant one of the numbers had to be nine, which made no sense in my logic. Oh, right, we got it. That's what matters. Easy peasy. Can I use this again? This one has a revolver. Oh fucking shit, she shot me. What the fuck? Ouch! Don't get up! Oh my god, are you fucking serious or not? This is bad, this is bad. She can shoot me again. All right, fuck this shit. Oh my god, I'm low health again. I'm running out of healing, guys. All right, you know what? I'm not using more melee weapons. No one shot me! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. That was so bad. That was so bad. I have 12 bullets? I have 12 bullets. I thought I had like... 40 or 30. What? Oh, that was really bad. I got shot so many times there. That was... Freaking revolver, nurse, man. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. Start. What? The start time is my key. What? The start time is my key? There's a medical record here. Could this be for the this, this dead guy? Background, unknown. Name, unknown. Not a mid-patient. Found in poor mental state in hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at Chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severe carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but will uh, goon angle suspicious? 
sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof of corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Room M4. Okay. Wait, what? There are papers scattered on the floor, something written on them, and uh, whatever. So we have to go for M4, I'm guessing. I have no ammo, no heals. Oh, fuck. I am so fucked. Well, this is M4. Another freaking Stalin note. This guy is leaving me notes all over the hospital, man. So creepy. There was a tattooed guy on that rumple bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clocks and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't, uh, I don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love you, Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather. Isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what a tender emotion this imagine brings. Image brings. What? This guy's fucking crazy. Oh my god. Six fourteen. I'm I'm in combat. Permanently in combat with this town. The attached case is closed. Six fourteen. Eighteen fourteen. Nope. What about six fourteen? Oh, that worked. Instant camera. Nothing else interesting. Who a self contained puzzle in the same room? You gotta love those. An instant camera. We we had a camera in the first game for like a like a painting puzzle. And like a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. Okay. The Polaroid, yep. We're playing Fatal Frame now. And five is open too. Nope, this time I'm not falling for it. Fuck that shit. Now imagine they put the first one with three uh, nurses and it's like, oh, you kill them all and there's nothing. And then later on now, they put another room with three nurses, but this time there's a key element there. <laughs> That'll be fucked, but they may do that. So we may have to kill those. Okay, so... Where was the guy with the examen room here? Ah. What if I take a picture? I don't know, it, it was on his briefcase, so... What if I take a picture of this guy? Does that work? No. Hmm... Combine? I can't combine it. <laughs> it's called a mountain in this dimension. The start time is my key. Oh, I guess that was a hint for the clock? That's kind of lame, though. Okay, um, we can go get the key that was glued on the wall. I never checked the nurse station. The third floor doesn't work, so I'm guessing we're going to have to use the staircase for that. Bro, what? Didn't I kill these bitches? I don't want to waste ammo, to be honest. But I don't think I have time to kill them both with the with the melee. The other one is coming, yeah. Oh, he's living. Okay. You coming back for more?
Oh, she has a fucking pistol. No! Don't let her shoot! Can I take the revolver? Okay. Looted the enemies. So let's go to... Where was the... And C4. We had to go to C4. Oh man, the house scroll. First floor, C4. And I hope the nail polish thing works on that place. But if it doesn't, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, at least enemies don't respawn here. C4. Okay, let's brace. Does this work? It does work. Let's go. Stairway key. So now I can go through the stairway without using the elevator. That way we can reach the basement and the third floor, right? Staircase is this? Oh no, it's out here. Nope, 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 nope. I should save again, to be honest, but... I'm tempted to reload the last file because I fucked so... Oh, fuck. Classic moment. This probably... Yeah. The basement wheelchair in the hospital floor of Silent Hill 3. Most iconic horror moment. Something on the floor. Submachine gun bullets. What? Can I get a submachine gun? Let's go. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? I don't know, but if I find them, I have a shotgun for them. We have a submachine gun, let's go. Blood trail continues to the elevator. Eesh, look at the footprints, oh my god, that's so fucking disgusting. Which, which event was that? Hold it on. Freaks of blood, as if something got dragged, are continuing on the back of the shell. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shell. I think we have to use the camera here to take a picture of what's behind the shelf, because we cannot push it or anything. Yep. I remember this. The one with the mirror. Seven six four two. I'm guessing. I remember this was very tricky. I don't know why, but I, I, I don't know. I felt like one of the numbers was a bit troll or something. But we got the password. I don't remember. I don't know what moment is that with the mirror. I think you're. I think you're talking of something that's coming after, though. I'm not sure, though. But let's not spoil anything. <laughs> How many bullets do we have with the machine gun? Zero. 32. 32. Okay, I need to find pistol ammo urgently. Can I unlock this? Wait. Have I, I think I've been here, right? I have. 
I thought I was gonna unlock this, but I guess not. All right, to the third floor we go. What was that? Oh, this is a fourth floor? What? That is a fourth floor, apparently. The third floor is where Stanley and the crazy guy was being held on S S7 and S12, I think. Yeah, so first let's check this. Oh, fuck. A special treatment room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A special treatment. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, this guy was here. He's like confinement for super people who injure themselves and stuff. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragments. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturb, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. You'll never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony, now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I, what I give you, to you is the same as what I give to me. Oh man, it feels... This whole stalker, no lover, crazy guy is so... I don't know, it builds so much tension around. Like, you know there's a guy in this place that is... Yeah. Whoa, what the... On the forehead. Okay. There's a meme on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. This mental police is no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something hard written on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Holy fucking shit. Now we have sexual assault too. Any more fucked up things, game? Anything else? We can save here. Oh, the game is giving me something. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, game. Two heals. Two heals. We have two heals in total now. After getting two heals. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. This game is a lot harder than the first one though. But you have to guess. The people... It's like Resident Evil to be honest. The first game has to be the easiest because people are not used to that kind of gameplay. So once the game... get The people are usual to the, that gameplay. You make, it, you make it a bit harder, right? This makes sense. Limitless resource. We're fucked. Thank you, private customer, for still being here. Thank you for the company, man. Let's check the elevator. I don't think it's gonna be working, but oh, it does work. So maybe we can travel here now. Maybe we just have to connect both both floors. I'm not sure though. Ah, right, time to go to the special... Oh no, another puzzle? What? 
Oh, the, the picture we found was seven. I forgot. Seven, six, oh, two or something. What is it? Hello, where's the picture I took? Where's the camera? Oh, memos, memos. Maybe I have to check the memos section. Uh, uh, photo. Seven, six, four, two. I hope that's the code. If it's not, if that's not the code, we can have screwed. Seven, six, four, two. Please work. There you go. Okay. No enemies? Oh. Dogs? Are we gonna have dogs here? They're giving me meat. What the fuck? Where did they came from? Fuck! He shot me. No, 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 no! I hope that I hope the revolver one is dead. Oh, this is getting intense. I think she's dead. I need to save ammo, I need to save ammo. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Do you go down the corridor and they put the enemies behind you? They literally spawn behind you. Wow. I got shot once. I'm still kind of bluish, so I'm gonna keep it like this. Drop it. Look, it's broken. Nothing. Okay. We're gonna start from end to start so s14 let me see um i have 10 bullets that's it 10 bullets for the pistol we're gonna use this s14 locked s13 locked this was one of the rooms we heard about s12 it's open Yeah, this looks a lot like the the James Sunderland. Hospital. Who's calling? It's gonna be the Stanley crazy guy. trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. Who's this? Salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. After leaving all these you? notes about stalker, you should not say your name like that. Wolf. Oh, this is Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Oh, Leonard is Claudia's father. Ooh. The plot thickens. 
Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry, but... She... She killed my father. Look at this camera angle. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. Hmm. to meet up with Leonard. Hmm. Being sent. Told us to meet with Leonard too. I'm not sure. Do you do what do you guys think? We trust? We trust or not? The end of the second floor. There was nothing there though. That's weird. There was no door there. S7 was the other room from the other patient we saw before. It's open too. Ooh, the doll is broken. Did he get mad or something? They said if he gets mad, he gets violent, so... Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it will come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I have been waiting for this day for today. The day I will see you. The day you will save me. Today. Hey there, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I love you. Heather, my goddess, my lover, my... Oh, fuck me. The doll is all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. Back that shit, man. Okay. Oh, this one is unlocked. Thank you, game. Thank you. The magazine. You some kind of ghostly magazine. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. The smile thing reminds me of that creature we saw before with this with the mouth smiling. Uh, it's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart is a heaven organization that teaches its own warp dogma in lieu of God religious values. Mr. Smith Temp, who lives near Hop House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear the their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, he hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigation, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a sick 
a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hop House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven in, with Silent Hill's history, but it, its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the, uh, the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the, the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Scraper. Hope House? I feel like I've heard that name before. Okay, we're, that was uh, very important for the lore, I guess you can say. Tissue and an alarm clock, huh? The clock's broken, but otherwise, no big deal. An orphanage will they brainwash children. Yikes. Okay, so everything is explore. I am guessing we go to the third to the where where Leonard told us to, to go. So Okay, let's go. There is a roof? Oh, I never shake the top. That's right. Roof floor. Oh, this is open. What's on the roof? Okay. This is where Pyramid Head appears. The fence is there. Huh? I found. I found something. Isn't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is where. Okay, we're in the house bill. Yeah, all the rooms look the same and everything. So. So we have to go to the second floor. What is that noise? At the end of the hallway. I should have saved, man. I haven't saved in so long. So, does it mean... In this section? Here? Wait, what's this? Yeah, no. So it has to be where the cells are. Okay, this door was not here before. M no number. That's very sus. Leonard, Claudia's father. What the fuck? Uh, what? Am I going? Where am I going? Okay, I will not go that way. This looks like a transition between the two worlds. Kind of. okay. Oh, are we going to go to the other world now? Ugh. Door. Okay. Where am I going, man? Sorry for the glitches, guys. That's a 16 by 9 experience for you. Where am I? Where do I go? Is that that then? Yeah. 
Okay. Kinda everything is everything is closed. Can I open this one maybe? Nope. So we have to go this way. Can this end? I want to get out of here. Oh shit. Run, Heather. Just go. Oh shit. Oh, this is the symbol from the first game. This Samael thingy. What was it called? The Metatron. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hard when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be. Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely. Is this Lisa? Why? What is keeping that child alive? Yeah. We read this in the first game. Wow, it's that good touch. What the hell? Was that daydreaming? Now, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. He did a get, she did get a little weird, though. It's very weird, I guess you can say, that Heather refers to herself as Alessa. So she's like part of her because she was referring in first person, like Lisa took care of me. Right? And it kind of makes sense because Heather or Cheryl came from Alessa, right? In the first game as a baby. So are they the same person? Are they two halves like they explained to us, like the two souls from Cheryl and Alessa in the first game? Oh, shit. Oh, this bar is fucked. This is fucked. Oh man. Oh my. Holy shit. What? Where the hell am I? What is this? This is Silent Hills over 9,000. Are there supposed to be doors here and shit? I can't see anything. That's a door, apparently. Oh. What the fuck? They hang outside the window. Yeah, what about it? Should I... You want some perfume? <laughs> Imagine if you could use that there. I don't know. What is the perfume for, guys? I mean, I don't really want to know, to be honest. But you can equip it, so it has to have a passive effect or something, right? Three hours, 40 minutes in. Not too bad. Bro, 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 bro. This is fucked. I need to like hack the wall and check the doors kind of thing. You see, there's a door there, but I cannot check it. There you go. Did I check it now? Yes. Okay. Did I check that one? Okay. Stucks. Kind of can barely see anything. Agreed. Agreed. Glad to see we're on the same page, Heather. Let me use the door here. No? I don't know. Examining rule four. It's a bucket with blood. What the fuck? There's a guy hanging. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it from it has totally filled the back itself out. Who'll do this and for what? It looks like a full-out bloodletting. 
Uh, wait. Well, I got a lot of ammo for that. Is there anything in the bucket or something? Ugh. What in the fuck am I? Oh, wonderful. Can I cross through here? Maybe? What is that thing? Oh, whoa. What? Why are you aiming at? Do I need to aim down? Oh my god, oh my god. What? Kill it. It's not dead. This gun sucks. This gun sucks. Maybe it's better for nothing just to aim down. Yeah. What? There's another one. Shit. The other one, oh my fucking god, man. I hate you. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm getting filled with hatred, just like Anakin. I hate you. <laughs> That's what they want. That's what Claudia wants. That's what this place wants. The elevator works. Bro, my palms are sweating. Um, uh, Let's finish exploring this floor, though. B1, B2, B3. Yikes, we have three basement floors. That's a yikes. I'm so tense, man. Uh-oh. 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 The mirror room. The fuck out. Door won't open. What? He's coming to this to this dimension. What is happening to me? Can I put the perfume in? Maybe this helps? I don't know. Nope. I'm dying! Let me out! What the hell? Oh, am I losing health? Let me out! Fuck, fuck, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I need a controller with a fan for my palms. It's unlocked. That's where I came from. So in the examining room, we had the bucket. 
Okay, let's take the elevator over. We are in what floor we are? We are in the third floor. So let's go from top to bottom. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Floor number two. I hate those enemies that make you... Breathe. It's okay, we got this, we got this. Another phone. Did I pick it up? It's inside the locker. Is the crazy guy? Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. Who's the other guy? He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate my your thirsty birthday. first birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my. I'm not mistaken. Today is your twenty fourth birthday. Oh shit. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. That scene is so unsettling. What? I mean, if you think about it, Cheryl is 17, but the age of Cheryl before she was like reborn from Alisa, right? Before she was a baby again. She was already at children there and she was seven years old. So 17 plus seven. She's 24. Bro. Wait, where am I going? Uh Plastic bag. Health ring. Ooh. What is that? I cannot. The camera doesn't let me. Why? Got him. 
Oh, I have no ammo. <laughs> I have no ammo. <laughs> Shit. What do I use? Do I use a shotgun? 15. Uh, this gun doesn't work well against these guys. I'm gonna use this. Is it, is it alive? Oh, I hit him. Nice, 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 nice. No! Don't get up! Pick it, pick. Okay, 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 okay. No ammo used. Dude. Where do I go now? What the fuck is this thing, man? Okay. It is locked. Let me see what items we have. The plastic bag. All over there, a transparent plastic bag. This is from a trash can in the locker. I can combine it with something, but I don't think I have anything yet. Okay, let's go to the first floor. This place is pure nightmare fuel, man. Holy shit. This is the scariest place in the game so far. I need to kill them one by one, though. If, they, if they're still coming from me at the same time, I'm in trouble. More nurses and a book. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. What? Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, huh? I see this, and I, I want to ask him. So you think you are the one who, uh, one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Maybe that's Leonard. So Leonard, he thinks he's a knight or something. That's so funny. The comment. Heather makes about so you think you are one of the necessary ones, huh? It's locked. Let's try to aggro them one by one. This is pure survival, man. My life is on the line. You can feel it. And see. Oh, what the fuck? Where did you came from? It's, look at this fucking nurse. He's trying to sneak in. She has a revolver, too. Where did she came from? She was not here before. Was she? I don't know. Maybe she came down the, this corridor. Oh, we are in the first floor. This goes around. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she could have totally been there then. It's not the first time the enemy tries to do this bullshit, you know? Hey, see me. See me, see me. Come for me, come for me. This doesn't want to come for me, man. Oh, shit. There's too many. Let's go. Oh, look at that zoom. Close combat. Okay. Ho! 
Holy shit, man. He's intense. <clears throat> Dogman room. This was close on the normal world. Still close here. Thanks. What's the point of this? Oh, he's coming. Bro, stop going away. Bro, why are you not coming for me? Oh, fuck! Fuck! Get him! I think it's bait. Yeah. I knew it! That's why I went back to attack him. I think he's dead now. Just one more kick, just to be sure. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Handful of dirty syringes. I'm not about to use them for sure. A memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital. But he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumors has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Room 312. What is that? Maybe it's on the basement. But I don't have a basement uh, map. <clears throat> okay, we are kind of doing it, but I'm struggling with... Uh, with their resources for sure. Let's see how we're doing. We are very unhealthy. I'm glad I checked that. Holy shit, I almost died. Wait, is that that's blue though, but I guess the background makes it red. It look it, it looked like it was very red. Genji baited me to waste the uh, to waste the healer. 32, 6, uh 15 rounds. Uh, I guess we have to use the... The stun... The stun machine thingy. Okay, so... Everything here is explore. Let's go to the elevator and... Check uh, the basement floors. Uh, wait, what? There's a room here, I'm gonna check. This one? Okay. What the fuck is that noise? Wait. I'm gonna check this bathroom right there, apparently. Okay. Everything is checked. Let's go. Oh my. Oh, maybe we should get the blood from the plastic bag. Does that work? Examine room. Let's let's do that. Do I need blood? From the buckets. It sounds like a reasonable idea. So let's try it before we keep going. Let's try it. I hope the enemies don't respond, please. Fuck, I forgot about this shit. Where was the examiner room? Huh? They're around here somewhere. Here. Let's see if this works. I have no idea. It does work. Right. Plastic with blood. So we may need that for later. So 
power that whole, that corridor is fucked. First. All right, now we're going to the basement. Yikes. I don't know what the plastic black uh, bag with blood is gonna be for. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Okay. Only B3 works. We're going to the. We're going to hell. To the deepness of the beast. Oh, this puzzle, I fucking hate it. I don't remember how to do this puzzle. Let's see. Oh. One, two, three, four. And it shows like a matrix kind of thing. Well, so we just check the order of the bets disposed in this room, right? No one alive here! Who was making that noise? This is the morgue. Alright, so if let's imagine the pattern shown there is like this, right? So that should be nine, five, seven, zero. Nine, five, seven, zero. Let's try that. Nine, five, Bro, this puzzle, I remember I had to look on the internet the first time I played it. And now I just got it like that. Boop. I guess I didn't see the scratch marks the first time, so I couldn't make sense of it. This part is terrifying. Terrifying to the limit. Cremated key. Cremated key. Okay. Where do I use that? On the day room? The day room there is locked. That's an option. Nothing on floor two. Nothing on floor three. So I think we're gonna go floor floor one. One that, that kind of connects with the other with the areas in this in the in the back cells kind of thing. Okay. How's your tuition? Was it pro pro how do you say that word? Proctiferous? Fruitful? Wait, is what door was that? This one? No. All the way on the end to the left. This one, please work. Ah, oh, it's the other one. Okay. I was like, Ooh. there you go. It was decent first time after a long break. Oh, that's good. To take back the pacing of a uh, them back to school. Holy fucking shit. That noise, man. Don't let her hit! Don't let her eat you! This is nothing. You haven't seen anything, babe. Oh, that's the book we read before. So now we're gonna go to the... Oh, what the fuck? Maybe this works? Oh, there's another one coming. Ah, shit! What?
One down. Oh, this is a fucking nurse too. She she has a revolver. She has a revolver. Nope. 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 nope, nope. This game is truly terrifying, babe. If, if you can tell. Happy first birthday. This motherfucker was here. That's why I told you to not play this when you are in a dark mental place, babe. No! Okay, 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 okay. What? Bro! Here you go. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Rest, Heather, rest. This is intense. This is intense. Oh, this is open. What am I hearing in the background? Is that a weapon? No way. I was like, oh, we got a pickaxe like in the first game. She's looking at something there. But look at this. What is that noise? What the fuck, man? What did she say? Are these blah 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 something something? There's a note here. There's something on the ground. This is a birthday car. Oh, not again. EMOTIONAL <laughs> DAMAGE! Uh, happy 38th birthday, bro. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. That is, uh, that is correct in it. So, 17 is Heather right now. 7 was Cheryl. Who was 14, though? Alessa was not 14, right? Or maybe something about Claudia or Dahlia, or, or maybe it's another person. But it's not my birthday. Oh my. This game? To be honest, on the first string, I was like, ah, the pacing is kind of weird. We haven't reached Silent Hill yet. Uh, the, there's not many characters introduced yet, but no. Th this stream is reminding me why this is my favorite Silent Hill game. And one of my top favorite games ever made. Because this shit is crazy. Am I leaving any doors? No. I think I left one door though. What is it? You guys have to consider Silent Hill 1 came out on 1999 and this game came out on 2003 and Silent Hill 2 in between 2001 I believe right in four years Team Silent made three in four years three of the best horror games ever created think about that that is crazy talent right there if this is open, I'm gonna turn back. I'm turning back. That was a close room, though. Okay, nothing works. Good. 
So this is all the way to go. We are on C4. We are on C4. Okay. An altar. Let's say first. I saw that drawn on the dividing screen at the hospital. But this is different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago. Somehow. Try to put everything together, huh? Okay. What is this? There's a knife. There is a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and this... Is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out uh, in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers. Pierce a man's chest with a copper stake. Drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart. To praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practice nearby. It may have some connection with the ma main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion exalts redemption, it brings to a mind a dark and cultish history. No shit. Now my question is, can I use the blood from the sacrificial guy we saw the bucket? Because that's the only thing I have here. I put the blood from the treatment room in this. I don't especially want to carry it around with me. Well, let's put it there. Uh, it works. Let's go. Sacrificial blood for the altar. What kind of god are we going to summon here, bro? <laughs> you do the... <laughs> I, rolling back your eyes. That I was not there before. Are we gonna go down there? What the fuck, man? Well, there's no way back. Oh shit, I'm gonna save again. Room C4. Well, down we go. I don't remember. From this point on, I don't remember much from the game. I mean, the, I remember the ending, of course. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't want to go there. Well, this is where Leonard said he was at C4. Heather? Oh. Yeah? Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time to... What the fuck are you, man? Oh boy. Wait. What are you talking about? Damn believers. About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. That's what I was saying the night thing. Who hearken to the He's as he's even crazier than Claudia. Given the keys to paradise. Fuck. Don't you think so? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the 
way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. Oh. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. She's so innocent. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. Fucking crazy. Now you! Well, time to kill Leonard! Oh, motherfucker! You ugly! <laughs> She's like... <laughs> to make me laugh in a moment like this, Heather, you should be a comedian. It's so bright, look at her. Oh, oh, there's water here, so you cannot sprint that much. Okay, how do I kill this guy, though? Uh, let's see. How am I doing on ammo? We have 15 shotgun and 4 bullets. If I use this stun thingy, is that gonna... Throw this music. Let's try the shot first. Is he gonna push me on that thing? Ooh. Oh wow, he can swim. I don't want to let him hit me when he's doing that shit, you know? Let's try melee. The katana works? It's gonna get up though. Oh, you can block. I forgot you can block. He has long arms, so... What is he doing? I'm guessing he can hit me like that. But I just hit him too. Oh, fuck! He gets up so quick! Okay, 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 okay. I underestimated this guy. You cannot run in this area. One hit, one hit, at least one hit. Oh, I didn't equip it. No, it's gonna hit me. Can I retaliate after the hit? This. No. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I need to retreat. Oh, I'm low health. I'm gonna die. Ah, fucking hell, man. His arms has so much range. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that hurts. I think he's getting up, though. We don't have time for them all. I love they hit it. But oh, it's getting faster. I think I have to wait for him to get up again. Or he's gonna hit me when he comes out of the water. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna use this again. Seems very effective against him. Yep. That seems very good. Maybe it's because it's, oh, it's like a water Pokemon. Come on! Again, I did the thrust instead of the swing. It's getting faster for sure. I just don't know when he's gonna get out. Oh. Yep. No, I'm gonna die! Woo! Close, close, close. Okay, let's try this again. It's so hard to hide him, man. We're just running in circles. Oh, he went down again. Alright. 
And this time, this time... Oh my god, another heal. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. That's fine. Shouldn't have that. Switch, switch, switch. Oh, I'm gonna... Man, I'm losing all my heals, but that's fine. Get him. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this again. Okay, that was that's good enough. Let's do another cycle. So hard to dodge when he comes out. I need this. Nice. How can I push him over there so he dies by that thing? Wow, he instantly starts moving again. What a bitch. What a bitch. Should I take this? Sure. Oh, that heals you? Wait, what? I didn't know that heals you. Maybe that's the biggest heal, actually. Wow. What? Bro. Die, man. This guy is so tanky. We got him. Woo. What a boss fight. Holy shit, this guy's so tanky. Fuck you, Lerner. Fuck you and your god. Holy shit, man. So what's this seal he was talking about? Is that important for something? Back to the hospital. Can I just get out of here? Leonard's not here anymore. We got him. I guess I should head back to the motel now. Okay. I hope Douglas is okay. He's okay. Oh, that's a seal. Huh? Oh, that's a symbol we've been seeing around. What's this? Talisman. Okay, and we seem to be back to the normal reality. Wait, is this over? I guess we can just leave. With my katana! Um... Let's save before I go back to the motel. This is still locked, right? Is there no way to open that? Hmm. Oh. What happened? Oops. <laughs> Hello. Hello, minded. <laughs> Randomly, it's in a message. I was like, what? Well, let's go back to the hotel. How are you, minded? Wait, today you travel back, right? Are you back? Bye. To my father. This is Chloe. Is that wrong? It's your fault that he. Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved. But this is Vincent, right? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. Are we supposed to be seeing something You'll here? You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. Hold up, hold up. Oh, you. And you I was think like, what? God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this. <coughs> oh. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? 
I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you. He made you cry. Why is it always, al almost always? Forever burned into my mind. Yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. And you do, of course. Just like your father. He was the chosen one, huh? Sure, they have like they're delusional, but uh, yeah, behind every crazy person, there's a abusive father or something, maybe or parent or something. I don't know that causes trauma, and of course, a lot of problems later on. Oof. Let's see, can I go through the other street? Let's try. So fast. Or is this path blocked? I don't know. I just want to explore Silent Hill, you know? It's a touristic town, after all. Nope. It's blocked. Come on, game. Give me a heal or something. No. How are we doing? I have no small drinks. I have almost no ammo. Oh, shit. We're so fucked. <laughs> So I need to do like the thing is usually when I have a lot of heals and no ammo, I sacrifice seal to use melee combat, right? And the other way around, if I have a lot of ammo but no heals, I will just use the weapons. But this time I'm low on both, so I just have to play better. Just get good, bro. Skill issue. It would be nice if I found something around here, but I, unless. The scenery change. Everything is gonna be the same. Not the dogs. Let's just go back to the apartment very fast. Right, alright. Pretty sure there has to be something there. Go, Heather, go! Go, Heather, go! Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I got tired. Uh -oh. oh, shit! Yeah, in this game, stamina actually matters. You're, you run a lot faster. Oh shit, there's a dog right there. Do I need to go in here? I think I do. Oh, fucking hell. No, I don't. The next, the next turn. This way. Uh, I never check upstairs. Oh, I can't. My partner was this one, right? 106. Oh, we made it back. Is Douglas here? With oh, this Vincent. What the fuck are you doing here, man? Get the fuck out! Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? Oh, this is where she was he was talking with Claudia. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. Oh, when I go to church, not church. Understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. Okay. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. 
I don't have good memories about that. Northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. Hmm, but closer than heaven. <sighs> oh, that comes the true. Uh huh. Thanks. <laughs> Bro, I love her so much. Douglas really said that. What's wrong? You don't trust me? No, I don't. <laughs> Wait, the game is not gonna let me save there? Come on. I don't think I'll go back inside. I really should go to the amusement park. Fuck! Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. Okay. What is Nathan? Okay, that way. Dan Hill Historical Society. Boat lunch. Lounge. The lunch. So we go Nathan, and we have to go to the Lakeside Amusement Park. Does that place sound familiar? Okay. Let's see. This sounds very familiar to me. So we just go down this road all the way. Okay. Let's leave some meat here. Where are the dogs? Fuck you, man! I'm feeding you! Bro. Ungrateful dogs. I cannot heal. Seems like it takes a few seconds to take effect. Makes sense. I need to find drinks. Health, health drinks, man. <laughs> this, is a, this is a long walk. The next safe spot, I'm gonna just leave it for today. And then the next time, tomorrow, we'll go from whatever we reach now to the end of the game. I think for today we did a lot of progress. We did construction site, hospital, <laughs> Sun Hill Historical Society. Different area. Oh, fuck. This is the first nightmare we had at the beginning of the game. How did we reach the amusement park already? Hello? Or maybe this is another nightmare? Oh shit. What the hell? You're hungry, Heather. You haven't eaten anything. Well, this looks very fun out there, huh? It's literally exactly as it was at the beginning. Little nightmares. Is there anything different? Get some popcorn. Should I do the same as I did on the train? Or is that a wagon? Was that a, a warning that the one is gonna run me over? So I need to do something different instead. Something in there smells terrible. Yikes. Game, I need heals. There's a dead body inside this box thing. There is nothing interesting here. There's nothing I can do about it, but I wonder who and why someone did this. I think it's better to not think about it. I'll have my map for this area. Okay. Last time there were enemies right here. 
Yep. Two long arms. And no dogs. Go, go, go. No! What the fuck, man? How did you hit that? Bro, 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 bro. Is there anything here this time? Please give me heals, give me something in. Please. Please. I'm on orange, man. I need cookies. Give me the cookies. Everything is the same. Look at Heather if she looks at something. Oh, she's looking at something. She's looking at this thing. Oh, yes. That's a big heal. She's looking at something else. Isn't she? Oh, two med kits. Ooh, let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, give me pistol ammo. And we're, and we're fully happy. <laughs> Just keep looking at her. She's looking somewhere. Oh! Thank you, game. Thank you. Holy moly. Thirteen bullets. Uh, that's decent. Thirteen bullets. Anything else? Some bubble gum? Oh, I thought that was small heels. Oh, beef jerk here. Okay. I think we're done here. Fucking hell. Oh, let's go. Go! Stop reading the fucking sign. <laughs> oh, they're here at the box. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Yes, yeah, go. Is there anything down there? No. Let's go. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, I hope this time I'm not gonna run over by the freaking thing. Dude, <laughs> you don't need all those seals on the way they stand your ahead, right? Clueless. The game is giving you fewer resources, right? Right? Nothing, nothing, nothing is gonna happen. It's locked. Do I need to go in there and turn that off? I'm scared. I'm scared. Because last time... Maybe the dream was a warning. It doesn't say it's locked. It's locked, so I think... I think we have to get a key to not die. Let's check downstairs. But I don't know where the key is. There's a freaking flare on me. Oh my goodness. Where though? Maybe on this thing? No ticket. Can we this way? This is blocked though. Do I need to go back? Are you fucking kidding me? Where do I go? Ouch. Bro. Bro. Oh no, this has this is a dead end. Is there anything is this open? No. Downstairs? Oh man, this is gonna suck. Oh he missed. Let's search here again. Let's try this. I hope they don't move from back there. Did I take too much damage there? I did. Ouch. Fuck, that hurts. Is there a key here somewhere? That noise. Oh, this broke. Oh, this was here before? Wait, what is that? 
The suit seems to have fallen from the shelf and gotten crushed. This wasn't part of my dream. Isn't there an item in there? Oh, mountain coaster. Roller coaster key. Now that's what I needed. That sound that we heard before is this was this falling. Eh, okay. Well, we are almost four hours into the game. What a chapter to them, and the hospital was fucking terrifying. I'm gonna call it for today, guys. Holy shit, man. This game. This game. I'm sweating. Like, I'm sweating. But it's so much fun, though. Uh, like, Heather, Heather is such an amazing character. The way she talks and everything. Uh, <laughs> next time, we will do the ride. From there to the end of the game. Tomorrow, I will finish the, the Silent Hill 3. And we have finished uh, Silent Hill 1 already. So, we have the... The, the Mason's story. I'll catch you next time with the end of Silent Hill 3. Have a good rest of the evening. Bye-bye.